In this video, we're going to be using the FET Simulation Vector Edition to determine how to use vector components to figure out the resultant when we add two vectors together. So from the list of choices, choose Lab. And my first step is going to be to reorient the axis so that the coordinate plane is a little bit more in the center. It's going to make it a little bit easier to work with. So I'm going to choose a vector, and I'm going to make my vector look like this. And what I want to do is I want to add this vector here to another vector. And I'll make this vector look like this. So my first step is going to be to orient this vector so that the tail is at the origin at point zero zero. Makes it a little bit easier to work with with this simulation. And then I'm going to take this vector and I'm going to place the tail of it on the tip of the other vector. So let's use this simulation to figure out how to use components and figure out what the resultant is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on uh, the components just so I can see what they look like. And if I see this, I see that this value right here is the x component of vector 1. And this y uh, component is the y component for vector 1 as well. And for this vector, here's the x component and here's the y component. Now what we need to do is we need to determine what these components are in the x and y direction. And for that, you would have to use the angle. I'm not going to go through all the trigonometry involved, but uh, using those, uh, those angles, we can figure out what this x and y component is for each of these vectors. I'm going to turn the angles off, and let's say we went through the math and we figured out what the values are. We figured out for this ve uh, vector 1, the x component is 5.0, and the y component is 8.0. And then for vector 2, the x component is 8.0, and the y component is 2.0. So to figure out what the resultant is, what I need to do is I need to add the x components together and I need to add the y components together. So if I take uh, the x components of 5 and 8, I add them together, I would have 13 uh, as the x component for the resultant in the x direction. And if I take 8 and 2 in the y direction and add those together, I would get 10 in the y direction for my resultant. So let's check our work. If I check up and go to sum right here, what we see is exactly that. So 5 plus 8, it's 13, that's the x component of the resultant. 8 and 2 is 10, which is the y component of the resultant. And if I take this vector and I place the tail at vector 1 and the tip at vector 2, we see that is the resultant, the same thing that we would get using the tip to tail method. But this, uh, this method allows us to use exact values and figure out what exactly what those components are so we have an accurate way of determining what the resultant vector is. So the question then is, how did we get that 16.4? Well, we have to use Pythagoras theorem. 13 squared plus 10 squared, if we take the square root of that, we would get 16.4. Now, since we're dealing with vectors, we also should specify the direction of our resultant vector. Again, if I go to my angle, we could figure this angle out using trigonometry, and I could say that the angle or direction of this vector is 30, er, 37.6 using the polar positive specification. I could also say that this uh, vector is 37.6 degrees north of east. So you can play around with the simulation, uh, use it to verify and check your answers uh, when you try to do these manually, and uh, have some fun with it.